let's look at how to create our first pipeline step. This will be a simple one composed of a single cell in our notebook. In this notebook, we read data from a CSV file into a pandas data frame with this line of code. When working with Kubeflow pipelines, it's important to be specific about exactly which code implements a pipeline step. Since it's just this line that we need, this will be our entire pipeline step. When thinking through our Kubeflow pipeline, we also need to consider the data inputs and outputs for a given step. This step doesn't have any inputs since it's the first step of our pipeline, but it does define and set the variable dfauto. dfauto is used in many later steps. For purposes of Kubeflow pipelines, dfauto is an output of the read pipeline step. To create our first pipeline step, we'll do a small amount of reorganizing and then apply a few annotations. Please follow along on your own copy of our notebook as we complete these steps. First, we'll isolate the code for this step into its own cell. Then we'll annotate the cell as a pipeline step and give it a name. To annotate this cell, click the pencil icon and set the cell type to pipeline step. Then give it the name read data. And finally, we can click the X to close the annotation editor. Now, if you don't see a pencil icon in your notebook, make sure that Kale is enabled in the Kale deployment panel. Now, having annotated this step, note that in addition to the label read data, this cell of our pipeline is now marked with a vertical line that is the same color as the background of the label read data. In fact, if you look more closely, you'll see that in fact, all cells below this first cell have been marked with a vertical line of the same color. As we'll see in the next lesson, this provides an important convenience when creating steps that contain multiple cells and doesn't really get in our way because we typically create our pipeline from the top of the notebook working down.